Hi guys, this is Emil with CoolPal.com and today we'll check another cool dashcam from our favorite dashcam manufacturer Papago Inc. The Papago GS260 windshield mirror dashcam. Just like the Papago GS330 we featured earlier, by now you should see a link on the screen if you want to check it out. The GS260 was built to sit quietly in the windshield and record everything that happens on the road. The GS260 model is designed to attach over your car's windshield mirror, which by the way is very useful in those countries where people are not allowed to attach gadgets to windshields and does not obstruct the field of view in any way. Okay, so let's dive into it. The package arrived from uh, US to Europe in about 5 days, which is very cool. Well wrapped in bubble envelope for uh, protection during the transit. And here it is, this is the box. Inside the box we have the dash cam camera. We'll get into it for in about a minute. We also have a user guide as well as the warranty card and a long USB charging cable for with a 12 volts car adapter. The camera attaches very easily to, to the interior windshield mirror of your car by, uh, by using these two strong hooks which have a very strong grip the camera stays secure on the, on the, on the windshield mirror uh, there's, no, there's no danger of falling or sliding out these hooks are very very strong now one feature that I really like about this camera is that once you secure the dash cam on, uh, on, the, on the internal mirror of your car uh, it's very easy to set up the, the recording angle. See this camera here, it's, it's adjustable so you can slide it left or right until you get the best uh, recording angle. Also here on the back we have a speaker if ever you want to play uh, your recordings uh, on, on the internal LCD you can, you can do it, uh, you, can, you can hear the sound through this speaker. It's also a reset button if you want, ever you want to restore it to the, to the, factory, uh, to the factory settings. Now with regards to connectivity we have a GPS plug here. Uh, the camera doesn't uh, have an internal GPS but you can hook up uh, an external GPS unit so uh, coordinates as well as uh, position and all, all kinds of GPS information are transferred from the external unit to the recorder and uh, they're printed on, on, the, on the recording. There's a mini USB plug here, the charging plug for um, it's a charging plug for uh, for while for for when uh, riding the car. It also doubles as data transfer. So when you when you plug in a, a regular USB cable and you hook it up to your computer, you'll be able to transfer uh, to transfer files. Uh, the, the dash cam acts as a mass storage unit, so you'll be able to transfer the files easily to your computer. Uh, by the way, the recordings, the video recordings, are in that MOV file, which is uh, which is uh, Apple's um, QuickTime. Uh, type of file but you can easily play it with uh, Windows players such as VLC and or mostly any any player on the market. Now here we have a micro SD card um, the, the, the unit doesn't come with a micro SD card it's just a micro SD slot um, you, you'll have to use your own micro SD card um, I found that it works with with cards over 8 gigabytes so this gives you enough room for the cycling recordings as well as for uh, saving a couple, uh, save, saving a handful of files in case of accident or um, I don't know the road memories. AV out if uh, ever you want to play files uh, straight from the camera and you want to get up on a TV or bigger display, you can use the AV out feature, as well as an on off button. There's there's a small battery included in the in the unit, which allows you to to play movies as well as um, as um, as record some footage uh, while while the camera is not plugged in. Now on the front side, we have the we have the actual uh, the actual mirror, which uh, which is uh, about uh, an inch wider than uh, regular mirrors, regular car mirrors, uh, an inch wider on each side. And uh, given given the, given given its angle, it's uh, it's very useful when when you drive it. It it it, it really increases the viewing angle uh, from. Um, from uh, from behind, 
Uh, there's a 2.7 inch screen here, that's about 7 centimeters for our uh, European fellows, uh, which displays the whatever the camera records uh, during driving. It, it can also turn it off if um, you prefer. There's um, there's a panic button here which will automatically save uh, any any recording that uh, any file that gets recorded in that uh, particular moment in time is going to get saved to not be overwritten by the, by the cycling um, by the cycling recording and you also have uh, the menu buttons um, which allow you to control the camera now another useful feature that uh, that this camera has which most dash cams uh, don't have is that it allows you to zoom in and zoom out while the camera is recording so uh, this is I found it useful for um, uh, for example when driving and when I wanted to zoom in uh, on a license plate well obviously the recording it's uh, uh, more you zoom um, less quality the recording gets but it's very useful because it, it gives you the chance to, to approach to approach uh, to approach the recording to, to any subject or any license plate so you can easily identify uh, more information. Other than these uh, technical specs that I, I, I just showed you, there's, there's a wide uh, range of features uh, this, uh, this camera has and they're, they're all printed on the back of the box so I'll just walk you through. So first of all it records 1080 full H, 1080p full HD and it also has a switch for 720p so if, if you don't really need HD recordings and you want to save a bit of space on your on your card to use a smaller card and switch to 720p and, um, and it will work very fine. The camera has a G sensor which starts recording any time any, anytime it, um, it feels a bump or uh, the car gets shaken or basically anything. Um, it also has an auto bump files copy, which means that uh, if, if the car, if, if, if the camera is recording a a, a, um, a movie, and uh, the G sensor feels a bump at that point, it will automatically save that that file to not be overwritten. This is very useful in case of an accident. Um, given the camera, given the camera, it uh, it cycles the recording, so it. it uh, it basically at a, at a certain point it goes back and overwrites the oldest the oldest recording it also keeps a loop of about 10 videos and uh, and uh, in case of an accident this is uh, this um, autobahn files copy is very useful as uh, immediately saves that particular file so it will not be overwritten by other recordings you can you can keep that file for uh, for insurance or for uh, police or or anything uh, anywhere you may need it uh, the camera, it's, it has a very wide viewing angle. You'll, you'll see it in the recordings I made, in the, in the street testing I made, uh, and uh, you'll see it, it, it being positioned in the, on the windshield, in the, in the middle of the windshield, on the mirror. It really catches from a left to right, so it really catches a full angle view. You can see everything that's happening in, in, in front of the car. Um, it, the camera also can take uh, snapshots. It also has motion detection in case you leave it on in the, in the car and it's hooked up to the electricity. Even if it's not hooked up as it has a small internal battery, it will start recording automatically when it feels, uh, when, it feels when the motion detector um, feels some movement. Uh, as I said, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can uh, plug it into a, a GPS unit. Basically, it's, uh, basically it's, it's, a very useful, uh, it's a very useful dash cam. I really like the way they design it so it goes over your um, your existing mirror. This is really cool because uh, it actually doesn't obstruct the, the, the view field or it doesn't eat up any, any, any viewing space on, uh, on the windshield and uh, it's, it's good, it gives you the choice, it gives you the, the, it leaves you, it leaves you more, uh, more space to see, um, to see when you're driving. Now, also the, this mirror here, it's uh, it's uh, it's a special kind of mirror. It's not the regular mirror you would see you would see um, in uh, in regular car mirrors. It's a it's it's a mirror that's uh, automatically dimming. It has a, an automatic um, dimming filter, which uh, which uh, turns on when uh, when uh, when the when when it feels strong lightning from the back. So it's actually dimming that light. You can easily, you, you no longer need to switch the car back uh, to, to switch the, the 
the mirror up and down in order to avoid um, the light reflecting into your eyes and uh, obstructing your your uh, your view. So this is pretty much it, guys. The, um, this concludes our Papago Go Safe 260 GS260 windshield mirror dash cam review. Uh, I recorded a bunch of, uh, of uh, real street action where you can see how exactly this camera records. Check them out if you if you click the links and you go to the to the coolpile.com uh, product review. I'll embed all the videos there so it's easy to see them. Uh, if you watch this uh, this video on YouTube, um, you'll find links to coolpile.com product review including pictures and additional information in the description box below. If you watch this on coolpile.com, well, you have links in the article which allow you to buy this camera or get more information from the manufacturer's website. By now, you should have a subscribe button on the screen. Go ahead and click it and be updated every time we release a new video. I thank you very much for being a coolpal.com reader, give us a like, follow us on Twitter, Pinterest or Google+, and stay close as we share cool gadgets and gear every day. Have a nice day guys.